many ancient religions believes in the third eye and it is not different in Christianity and in our kingdom as children of God and as prophet of God who wants to prophesy forensically you must understand that the prophet is a spiritual person and his life is fully lived by the dictates of the spirit the devil of course created nothing or knows nothing than what he adapted from God so on this note we are gonna be looking at the third eye which also refers to our spiritual eyes remember to subscribe to this channel and be blessed even as you learn from this channel god bless you basically there are three types of eyes the first eye is our natural eye the eyes of the body that enables man to see when natural or artificial light enters it it cannot see without natural or artificial light it sees based on the kind of light that enters it when the color of the light is blue the eyes of the body sees things blue when it is red it sees things in the red john 9 14 jesus talked about these eyes of the body and it is the same eyes you are using to watch this video and also to see the writings in this video the second type of eyes is the eyes of the mind this is the eyes of the human mind that sees beyond the natural in a suggestive way when the light of information enters it it is the intellectual realm or the realm of imagination these eyes said in ecclesiastes chapter 2 verses 14 that the wise man's eyes are in his head this tells us that the power of the mind can see there are many who are blind physically but can see and take notes imagine when these eyes receive light from God's Word remember the Bible says you thy word is a light unto my path when these eyes receive light of God's word, it gets renewed and is ready to align itself with the third eye, which is your spiritual eyes, in order for one to see visions either in a closed manner or in an open manner now the third eye this is the eyes of your human spirit that sees beyond the soul and the body it sees beyond the natural environment it is also called the third eye due to placement the light for these eyes is Christ and you need no other light other than Christ the Bible says arise and shine for thy light has come the same Bible says O sleeper arise and Christ will give you light to shine this was the same eyes that Elisha prayed to God for his servant and his eyes was open the third eye every human being has this third eye 
be him born again or not born again as far as man is a spirit has a soul and lives in a body has these eyes but it depends on the kind of light that makes the unbeliever sees and the Christian sees for us Christians Christ is our light for those who have not come to the knowledge of the truth yet and have not believed in Jesus and are still walking in darkness remember that the enemy disguises himself as an angel of light so those fellows are walking in deceptive light and some of these people who try to see with the deceptive light of the devil are soothsayers enchanters fortune tellers and the like but we prophets spiritual men who are ranked in the holy ghost sees with the light of christ so when the mind aligns with the spirit we are able to see and see clearly the third eye these three eyes are connected to each other the eyes of the body feeds the eyes of the mind and the eyes of the mind feeds the eyes of the spirit and the vice versa the eyes of the mind interconnects between the eyes of the body and the eyes of the spirit when the eyes of the mind is filthy it hinders the flow from the spirit to the physical so the bible said blessed is the pure in heart for they shall see god mighty chapter 5 verses 8 when the information that enables the eyes of the mind to be clear and to be pure is contaminated it hinders the eyes of the spirit to see through the eyes of the mind and for that matter the eyes of the body and the right information of God's word cleans the mind remember what the Bible says in John chapter 15 verses 3 you are already pure and clean by the words I have spoken unto you the word you feed yourself with will determine whether you will be hindered to see or not many are wondering how do others see they are able to purify their minds with the right information of God's word as prophets the right information about angels helps you to imagine angels accurately in the spirit the right information of Christ helps you to visualize Christ in the spirit 
the wrong information blocks your mind and there are other impurities such as depression such as worries such as over excitement stress of the mind all this keeps the mind in a state of misalignment with the eyes of the spirit for this reason most prophet uses the code of silence and the code of music spiritual music songs of the spirit to align their minds to align the eyes of their mind with the eyes of the spirit in order to be able to see visions I pray for you wherever you are begins to purify your mind with the right knowledge of God's word and by the prayer of tongues your mind will receive strength and your mortal body will be equipped to enter the CRM as a prophet of God this is my secret God bless you see you in my next video now how to see with your third eye we are gonna look at a practical step on how to see with your spiritual eyes and this will only work when your mind is renewed by the right word of God let's say for example before you would begin to see in the spirit understand that your mind is a powerful tool in this cause number one decide to see by imagining by God's word that you are traveling with God into the geographical location you've set your mind to go maybe in China maybe in the US maybe in somebody's room or maybe in the place you want to go remember that imagination in the realm of the spirit is a reality the Bible says in Matthew chapter 5 the verse 28 that if you imagine lustfully about a woman the Bible says it has already taken place on this note why not imagine it in a positive way number two imagine you are talking to someone in your mind and the person is answering or responding back to you number three anything that comes into your mind or imagination as a number a symbol a color a name try to interpret it with the knowledge of God's Word and if there is consistency with God's Word or if what you are imagining and seeing or heard in the spirit or what you saw as a number 
when it is consistent with God's word, then you either write it down or say it in wisdom. Remember, this video is not for everybody, but it is for all who believe in Jesus and are ready to walk in the supernatural. The prophets, God bless you.